With four different streaming services available, going through all of the different plan options with the Disney bundle can seem a little bit complicated. So in this video, I'll break down all of their different plans and give my recommendations on which plans I think may be best for you. Plus, stay tuned until the end when I go through ways you can save money on the Disney bundle. But to get started, let's break down the four different streaming services that Disney offers. Those are going to be Disney+, Plus, the streaming service for their core brands like Disney Animation and Marvel, Hulu, the streaming service for general entertainment shows like sitcoms and reality TV, ESPN+, Plus, the streaming service for some, but not all, live sports from ESPN, and finally, Hulu Plus Live TV, which is their streaming service with the same live channels that you'd get from cable. You can pay for all of these streaming services separately or get them bundled together, but if you get Hulu and Disney+, Plus, you can now watch the shows from both of those streaming services together in the Disney Plus app. Later on this year, they also plan to give you the ability to watch certain live sports from ESPN in the Disney Plus app as well. This will make it more convenient so you don't have to hop back and forth between different apps. Now in this video, I'm going to throw a lot of information at you. But before I do, let's consider three things that you should ask yourself when picking a Disney bundle plan. The first is if you're mostly after kids content, so TV shows like Bluey or movies like Frozen then you might want to stick to Disney Plus on its own. The second thing to consider is if you want more adult-oriented sitcoms and reality TV, then get one of the duo plans that includes both Disney Plus and Hulu. The third is if you want live sports, then consider either the trio plan or one of the more expensive Hulu Plus live TV plans. So with that in mind, let's go through the pricing for Disney streaming services on their own, and then we'll get to their bundle plans. With Disney Plus on its own, you have two plan options. Disney Plus Basic is $7.99 a month and includes ads. Disney Plus Premium is $13.99 a month and removes ads. With Hulu, their standard plan is $7.99 a month, and the Hulu No Ads plan is $17.99 a month. And with ESPN Plus, you can get it for $10.99 a month. There is no ad-free option with ESPN Plus like there is with Disney Plus or Hulu. Now let's get on to bundles. Disney offers either the Disney Bundle Duo or Disney Bundle Trio. The Disney Bundle Duo gives you both Disney Plus and Hulu, which as a reminder, you can now watch together in the same Disney Plus app. For more information on watching Hulu on Disney Plus, you can check out my video on the subject. Duo Basic is $9.99 a month and includes ads. Duo Premium is $19.99 a month and removes ads. Now since the basic plans for Disney Plus and Hulu are $7.99 a month on their own, I think it will make sense for most people to throw in the extra two bucks and get the duo plan, even if you were mostly after one or the other between the two services. So on to the Disney Bundle Trio. This one includes Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus. For now, you can watch content from ESPN Plus through either the ESPN app or the Hulu app, but as a reminder again, later this year, you'll also be able to watch live sports from ESPN through the Disney Plus app as well. The Trio Basic is $14.99 a month for the ad-supported plans. The Trio Premium is $24.99 a month and removes ads from Disney Plus and Hulu. Since it adds some live sports, the Disney Bundle Trio might be something to look at for sports fans. But take note that not all of the sports from ESPN, the cable channel, are included with ESPN Plus. To get the most live sports, you'll need to look at the next option, which is Hulu Plus Live TV. This gives you everything from the Disney Bundle Trio and the same live channels that you'd get from a cable subscription, including sports channels, news channels, and local channels. For now, you can watch these live channels in the Hulu app only. They haven't announced plans to bring the live channels over to the Disney Plus app the way they have with the on-demand programming from Hulu. The first plan they offer with Hulu Plus Live TV is $76.99 per month. This plan includes ads on both Disney Plus and standard Hulu. To remove ads from Disney Plus or standard Hulu, you can pay $89.99 per month. Take note that the live channels on Hulu will always have advertising, but if you record shows, you can skip past the advertising with their cloud DVR. Now let's address the elephant in the room, Hulu Plus Live TV is expensive, but if you want to get the most access to live sports, news, and local channels, then Hulu Plus Live TV will be your best bet amongst Disney streaming options. So now let's get on to some ways to save money with the Disney bundle. You can get a free trial. Now, while most of Disney's plans don't offer a free trial, there are two that do. They include standard Hulu for 30 days 
or Hulu Plus Live TV for three days. The next way to save money is with an annual plan. Now, while most of Disney's streaming options don't offer a yearly plan, there are some that do. They include Disney Plus Premium for $139.99 per year, Hulu with ads for $79.99 per year, or ESPN Plus for $109.99 per year. This ends up being cheaper than if you got them month to month. Next up is a student discount. There are a couple of ways that college students can save money on Hulu. First, students can get Hulu with ads for just $1.99 a month with the student discount applied, or they can get Spotify Premium Student that includes both Spotify Premium and Hulu with ads for $5.99 a month. And finally, you can save money on the Disney Bundle through either a phone or TV service provider. Verizon customers can get six months of the Trio Bundle for free, and then for $10 a month after that with certain plans. T-Mobile customers can get Hulu with ads free for 12 months. Meanwhile, Spectrum TV customers can get Disney Plus and ESPN Plus free with certain TV plans. So now let's look to the future. There are at least two new bundle options coming down the pipeline. Disney and Warner Brothers Discovery recently announced that they will offer a bundle that includes Disney Plus, Hulu, and Max. We don't have pricing or other details just yet, but it's set to launch by the end of summer 2024. In addition to that, later this year, Disney, Fox, and Warner Brothers Discovery are set to launch a new sports streaming service called Venue Sports. They've said that a bundle with Disney Plus and Hulu is set to be included with Venue. But that does it for now. I suspect that the most popular option for a lot of people is going to be the bundle duo that includes both Disney Plus and Hulu. And if there's one takeaway from that, it's to know that you can get Disney Plus and Hulu with ads for 10 bucks a month, or you can remove the ads for $20 a month. But which plan are you signing up for? Let me know in the comments. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay up to date with all things streaming. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye bye.